of America with your host, Michael and Jacob. Welcome in. Happy Monday, episode number 69. Coincidentally, I didn't mean to giggle. I'm way more mature than that if you know me by now, but how are you doing? Welcome in. Untitled series here on United Spurs of America. I hope you were too blessed to be stressed on this Monday evening. Sorry about the little bit of a delay start time. A lot of things, a lot of things going on, but big up everybody in the house. How's everyone doing? I heard something in, in my ear and it was me. It was me on my own stream playing, so sorry that threw me off there for a second, but big up. Welcome in. This is the Untitled Series here on United Spurs of America. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. (laughs) We got a technical director. If you didn't know, now you know, but I'm sure you already know. Y'all are very smart fan base here that lock in. But before we get going with the news of the day, let me say big up every single one of you who are live right now and big up everybody who watches back on playback. I know there's about like 60, 70 of y'all that do smash up the likes anyway as soon as we're done. So uh, big ups to those of you live replay. Y'all know what it is. The vibes are immaculate on a Monday. And typically Monday is kind of hard to be like super duper immaculate. But nonetheless, here we are. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Let me lower this background music just a little bit but i hope everyone is okay i hope you were safe i hope you were well and good morning to those of you in australia it is tuesday so i'm saying happy monday but that's just because as you know it is only 3 30 in the afternoon here in america well here in mountain time zone in america and it's uh 10 30 in the in the nighttime for those of you in the uk but i hope you were too blessed to be stressed chewy's here he he didn't actually want to come and do the show but I forced him because I said, people are going to look for you, Chewy. I drug him in here. Get him in there. <laughs> Big up, everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm in a great mood. Um, there's things in life that are getting me down. Obviously, there's a lot of shit going on in the world, and I'm not going to speak politically on anything. But I just I, I want everybody to be blessed, and I hope everybody is, is feeling love in their lives right now if you're tuning in. So uh, even if you're not tuning in, fuck it. I hope you're getting some love. But either way. Hit a like on the video on your way in. I see there's already a bunch of likes. Well, the ratio to like, the ratio the ratio of like and, and voting in the poll. Obviously, the poll question today is thoughts on the new technical director hiring. I'm all over the place for this intro. I apologize, y'all. Um, you, you know how my mind can go, like the squirrel in Central Park. Um, right now, tied at 45%, neck and neck race. Saying, who the fuck is that guy? Which, honestly, wait, let me do my Conor McGregor. Who the fuck is that guy? That was that was awful. I've, I've done it better. Someone can attest to it, but probably won't try to attest to it. But tied, nope, now someone just voted, and they made it the number one right now with 47%. Who is that guy? Number And uh, 44% say, I'm reserving my opinions until the gravy is made. And that's really... Uh, the most like logical answer I could think of because really like we I'm I'm gonna pull up some stuff that he did with Aston Villa. Um, I know some people were saying he signed Longley. No, he didn't sign Longley. That was actually the other guy, uh, the guy that replaced him because he did get fired or just, they weren't real clear on the verbiage. But it doesn't sound like uh, he got promoted. It sounded like they were saying bye bye. Um, but you know what? Whatever, whatever. I'm not gonna judge him too much on like his separation with everybody uh but i do want to say oh hey big up david shear david shear this two streams in a row my guy gifting five united spurs if y'all keep gifting memberships eventually we're going to run out of people to give them to but big up i appreciate the sentiment and um supporting the channel going above and beyond the call of booty and if you know what the call of booty is obviously it's just hitting a like hitting a voting option in the poll i'm never going to ask you in the poll have you liked the video i just think we could be more creative as content creators uh so i'm always going to ask you how do you feel or how do you think about something there will be a question and then i'll leave that poll up the entirety of the show anybody that's new um we have seen some very nice growth on the channel lately um which big shout out to everybody who's been new but big shout out to all the ogs who've been here since the doors open so i don't think i forget about those of y'all but uh really enjoying really enjoying this and as i said that i just refreshed we lost a subscriber but you know what i think they'll be back I'm not too concerned about it. I think they'll be back. Uh, but big up, Moon Dog gets the first 
chat prize of the day. If I'm eventually like, if the channel ever gets big enough, I'm legit gonna make it a prize. I'm gonna because I've always said you get the first place prize, whether you so you're not a YouTube chat member, but you do get the first place prize regardless. Um, and then Kate is gonna get the first YouTube chat member prize today. Kate, you you can get racking these up. Your trophy cabinet is getting full. If I were to hand out some trophies for this, but Kate says, "Big up Jacob, much love from Lincolnshire." Big up to Lincolnshire. Um, but good good evening to Moondog nonetheless. Adrian Troca, it was a close race. You were 11 minutes after Moondog, but you get second place, my friend. And hello, Jim, just a guy who loves Spurs. Really looking forward to the show on Wednesday. There's a little cheeky plug on just a girl who loves Spurs. Kate and Jim, the first married Spurs couple in my understanding of the history of YouTube, there's never been a Spurs couple live on air, married, kids, and they're going to fight. And I'm going to be here for it. I don't think they're going to fight. But Jim is a smart one, as he knows. He's on the Ainge train. He's chilling. Um, I think Kate broke his arm for a time that he talked back to her. So Kate says she's a realist. I think she's I think she's a great person and a great content creator. So Wednesday, you want to make sure you're there. I will be. Hopefully, you're not doing it. Most of your streams, Kate, are like 1 a.m. or 6 a.m. And I'm not going to lie. I do not wake up for that. But, uh, but big up, Kate, and just a girl who loves sports. Everyone go over there and subscribe. Any mods in the chat, feel free to put her link in there. Um, and I always supporting her. She's on the road to 1K. She'll get there soon. People will recognize the hustle. Speaking of recognize the hustle, Cy Danza is in the house. It's big up, Jacob. Can't wait till we get that Pro Clubs game going, buddy. I know I've been blow. He, My man, my man Cy Danza, he's, he, he goes to sleep. You know, he's a family man. He's got kids and... And I'm hitting him up. I, if he's in the U, if he's in the UK, like I think he is, um, I'm hitting him up at like one, two, three in the morning, like a side chick, saying, "Hey, you want to play some pro clubs?" <laughs> but big up, Sai. I hope you ain't, hope you ain't annoyed with me yet. Peter Ag is in the house. Says, big up, Jacob. Will Paratici be at the club in a consulting role? I'm excited by a new technical director. Now I did see a tweet already. I'll go ahead and share it since you asked, because you know what? That's that's just what it is here in the United Spurs of America. But there it is, Pablao. Um, according to Paulo Qui, Fabio Paratici will remain a consultant to Tottenham despite the appointment of Johan Lange. And I'm saying Johan Lange because Ainge Lange. Come on, we're 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 making a damn rap album out here with the names that we're hiring. But you know, there's there's I don't know this guy. I I know some of the business he's done recently. Um, I think people were accrediting Musa Diaby to him, and I I don't think that he did that one. But Musa Diaby is not one that you need a genius to scout. He's fucking fabulous. But um, that's like four f bombs in the first ten minutes. I wonder if YouTube's gonna be mad about that. But you know what? I'm feeling myself this evening. I'm, I cannot lie. I am feeling myself. Uh, but big up, Peter. Aga. He will be here. He will be here in some form or fashion, apparently. Uh, but big up, Spurs Psych. Hi, Jacob and chat. Happy Monday night. Happy Monday evening to you, good sir. Sonaldo69, YouTube chat member extraordinaire. Says, big up, Jacob. Hope your Monday's going well. It is, my friend. I hope it's going well for you, too. We got a technical director, y'all. We actually have. A technical director. Dry Rose Peanut says, I heard Lange discovered Pele. Again, one of those scoutings doesn't take a genius. I know you're just kidding, but it doesn't take a mad scientist to concoct up a plan to to scout some of the some of those easy players like a Pele. But big up Mark Cook as well. Big up Jacob and all in the chat. Come on, you Spurs. Big up Drula. Says big up Jacob in chat from North Londonshire. She said <laughs> I love it. I was, I, y- y'all in the UK with your made-up names, it's fun. It's fun. A lot of fun to me. The Lucky Irish says, yo, yo, Jacob. Big up, The Lucky. Uh, Joe Hong's in the house. Big up, Joe Hong. Says, big up, Jacob and Chewy. Sorry, I had the spelling wrong this whole time. Don't worry. I'm not. I'm. Uh, who cares? It, Chewy can't read, so it's not like it bothers him. As long as as long as you're here and you're having a good time. And, and, and Chewy feels the sentiment regardless. But big up to you. Big up David Shear as well. YouTube chat member. And he's he's gifting memberships. So, I mean, if any of y'all... Wait, let me make sure I read those off. I didn't do that right. So, David Shear has gifted um, five memberships. Roy, you've been gifted a membership. I think you were already a member. Or you may have just expired, but you just got a membership. Lynch616 got a membership. Scott Cairns got a membership. Ark Frazier and Peter Eric Mwara Naguna Junga. Ah, uh, sorry, I fucked up your last name, buddy. Par- apologies, but welcome to the family and uh, thank you to David Shear. Um, big up, what a guy, 
What a guy. That's two streams in a row. He's gifted five memberships and he's a member going above and beyond the call of booty. But big up every single time. I appreciate you doing that. Uh, Patty Hartnett is in the house this evening, buddy. You will have to remove Harold of Canes from your intro. No, I think that I, I thought about it. But if you look at it in like a storytelling, you see Kane, you see a newspaper, and then you see Ainge. And I think it's just, uh, but you're right. I might need to change it. Once I got. Maybe I do need to change it, Patty. Big up. But, you know, no one pays me to do that. But that's just extracurricular. Maybe I should do it. Big up, Ren. Good morning. Says Jacob, my man. Big up, everybody. Big up, Ren. Loyal supporter here. Not a YouTube. Again, this is, I, I don't, you don't have to be a YouTube chat member for me to recognize when you're here, for me to recognize the support that you give to the channel. Ren, since you've been here, you're always here. So big up to you. I appreciate that. I know it's probably early out there for you down under. But I hope you and your family are well. Deluki says he looks like a euro sex pest <laughs> what what is a euro sex pest i don't know what that is you're talking about my man johan lange lange what I'm, I'm saying lange just so it rhymes with Ainge, but i don't know what to call him here i'll go ahead and show him just so you can see his face there in the corner look at that guy i mean he kind of looks like the dude who would steal your cookie at lunchtime and, and, and if you were in, in school with him he looks like a guy who might like try and wheel and deal in the cafeteria and that may be a good thing for tottenham hotspur this guy could go to the, all the cafeterias wheel and deal he looks like he's been wheeling and dealing he kind of looks i don't know let's not judge him by his appearance but mr lange i guess we're gonna wait for the gravy to be made before we really make our opinions about you at least for me i mean we can look at it i, I feel like i just want to go with an open mind obviously i feel like he's got to have some kind of connection with ange Postacoglu and and this club in order to to be successful but we'll see we'll see top of the table vibes absolutely top of the table vibes uh, this is the greatest question i've been asking i was just saying how's the weather down there <laughs> I love it. We may never have this the rest of the season, so enjoy it while you got it. How's the weather? That's what I like saying. Ryman, big up Ryman. Evening, Jacob and chat. Tried to keep off social media today. Arsenal fans have been insufferable. Don't know too much about this new DOF, but hopefully works out well with Big Ainge. So he's not technically a director of football. That's not his title. At least that's not what Tottenham Hotspur said. I mean, I'll pull it up right here, uh, their announcement, so that we could read direct from the horse's ass what they're – saying he is um bang there you go wait i gotta share this tab sorry boom johan lange as a technical director says we are delighted to announce that johan lange has been appointed technical director with effect from november 1st hey i'm turning 33 and then we get this guy he's officially going to report for work i like that they actually put a date on when he's going to be here because with scott munn we were all like when is this guy going to show up for work when is this guy going to show up for work? But you know what? Um, on my birthday, we will have a technical director reporting for booty. So that's very nice. Uh, big up David Shear says morning, Ren. He's always showing love to everybody in the chat. Big up. Oh, y'all. Oh, okay. So David Shear's, it's 5 a.m. out there for you, David Shear. Uh, big up and good morning. So I'm going to start saying good morning to you, David Shear. I'm going to start speaking to you nicer because now I know where you are. And big, oh, big up Zapur says, hello, Chewy and Jacob. Big up Zapur. Uh, appreciate you always being here as well. Um, Staffy TV says, big up Yakub. Uh, big up Staffy TV, my man, my New York brother. How you doing, my friend? Good friend, great content creator. Go subscribe to Staffy TV as well. David, shh. good day, Jim and Kate. Big up Jacob. That was me who just voted. Big up Joshua. How you doing? Waiting for the mushy peas. And for some reason my Streamyard's not updating comments this is the last comment i have it's acting like we're caught up but i know i'm not caught up what's going on with Streamyard? what's what are we doing here i'm looking i'm super behind in the chat <laughs> literally as soon as david uh as soon as David went and, and, and gifted the memberships, this is the last comment I have from Delucky Irish saying, waiting for mushy peas. This was 11 minutes ago. What's going on here? What, what the hell's going on here? What the? F what? Big up TJ Warren. Hit me with the raid. Hit us with the raid. Big up, TJ Warren TV, TJ Waffle TV, the Waffle Master himself, the manager of Waffle House. He's working 24 hours. Uh, big up, TJ. All love, brother. Yo, I, I'm, I'm tripping right now. What is going on with these comments? I, 
Why is this the last comment, bro? This is making me really upset. I see all y'all chiming in. I can't pull up chat right now. What the hell? 76 Mad Matt, I enjoy your passion and love for the Spurs. Keep up the good work. Big up 76 Mad Matt. New name in the chat. Would love to talk to you and pull your your chat up and talk to you personally, but apologies. Um, David Shear says, no problem, mate. Love the vibes, Jacob. Uh, Delucky says, Jacob... Jacob has been in my heart ever since he hooked me up, so I wouldn't miss a game while out grocery shopping on Sunday. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Any way I can help, my friend. Big up. Um, let me make sure I say what's up. Flat Cat Pete says, mate, looking in first time, seeing you on other streams. Big up, host streams. First time when I can sort it out. Hope to streams first big up flat cat pete that's a new name in the chat as well give me some props wish i could pull that up if i hit refresh it's gonna kick me out would y'all just stand by there's there's about 60 of y'all in the house so do y'all mind i'm just gonna hit refresh and maybe i can get some damn maybe the chat will start working again one second Hello. Now there's no comments. <laughs> now there's no comments. I can hide this and there's no comments. It says zero people watching. So I guess everybody left. There's no comments. What the hell's going on? StreamYard's acting up. StreamYard's absolutely acting up. Oh, this is really throwing me off, y'all. I apologize. Ainge, Lange, we need some flange, says, <laughs> says Kate uh big up spurs psych hey jacob i'm a lady by the way big up spurs psych didn't sorry i i, I didn't mean to gender label your gender i don't want to assume anybody's gender in this world um but apologies and hello spurs psych very nice to know um i enjoyed nfl sunday at spurs stadium but do follow bears flat cat pete that's tough you follow the bears that's that's a tough job my friend um but i fall uh i support cowboys so it's not much easier for me either Derek Smith in the house as well says famous song about jelly deals called El Il Pai Didi Il Pai Didi by the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band. What Derek Smith, how you doing? Big up Plymouth Argyle every single time. I don't know what half of those words were in that in in that, but uh but we move. Um I really wish StreamYard wasn't doing this to me right now because I had a whole bunch of things I want to talk about. And I like, you all know me. I always say what's up to people in the chat. I see Haz, Spurt, Haz Cooks, Turkish in the chat. This is big up, Jacob. Good to see you here, Haz. Uh, always good to see you here, Haz. Hope you're doing well. Um, Elvis G's in the house says, I live in Einfieldshire near Worcestershire where they make the sauce. So big up, Elvis. I bet you smell like salty Worcestershire sauce. And I bet that's fun for, for the whole family. Um... Oh, what is this? What is this? Here we go. Here we go. Y'all might be in for a little bit of a surprise. Um, he looks like a bully from Christmas Story. Wait, let me share his face again so we can talk about his appearance. But I'm so upset right now with this stream yard, y'all. What the hell's going on? Like, for real. What are we doing? Um, here's Lange. Got him pulled up right there. Bang, 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 bang. Boop. There he is. He kind of looks like a dude I went to high school with. I'm not going to lie. Um, Let's see. Who else is in the chat? Hotspur Hippie. Hotspur Hippie. Paul Beatty. Every single time. Big up. My brother. Um, James Paratrooper dropping in into the chat that apparently StreamYard's not going to let me pull up. But James Paratrooper's here. Says, what's up, Jacob? What's up, James? How you doing? Well, um, <laughs> oh, geez uh where was i big up 76 and matt says the next transfer window will be interesting if we are still fighting near the top of the league if cane money still isn't spent oh interesting um let's see it's really hard to keep track of the chat right now honestly because it's like very small uh geez says 60 viewing comments flowing hi jacob 62 actually yeah yeah, uh, yeah, YouTube's telling me how many, but it says zero for me right now, and there's no comments. <laughs> it's really messing with me. I love pulling up comments. Y'all know how I like to roll on this. Big up, Letty uh, Mpukwa. 
I don't, I don't know if I said your name right, but big up Letty says, hi, Jacob. Hello. Very nice to see a lot of new names in the chat tonight. Kind of like this. It's kind of nice. I like to see all the new names in the chat. Let me know where you're tapping in from. Mr. K is in the house. Big up, Mr. K. Uh, Mile High Hotspur. Big up, Leo. How you doing? Um, how are we doing indeed? I'm, I'm changing the view. And if you know if I'm changing to this view, what that means, that we've got a guest. We've got the Hotspur Hippie. Hello. Hey, what's How cracking? Um, good. Uh, don't know if you can see the comments in StreamYard, but they're not appearing, and I can't pull up any comments. Uh, I don't even have the uh, the comments. Um, I don't know. Oh, 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 are you on your phone? It's it's yeah. It's kind of harder to see on your phone. Yeah, but I can see. Yeah, no. It's there's usually a comments thing, but it's not there. So, oh, well. Hey, just well, pretend the internet nutters aren't around. What's who's? Why have we got a picture of JFK up? Who's that? This is JFK's uh, ginger child. This is his son. <laughs> I do believe. Let me tell you. I, I'm trying to work on my on my JFK. Hang on. What? It's not. It's not what you can do for your country. It's what. Wait. Don't ask what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> it's gonna be hard out here. Shout out JFK, Rip. Uh, Dallas, Texas was not a great city for him to visit, apparently. Uh, uh, but then again, it was an inside job. I'm not going to say that live on air because then they'll come for me. But oh, we, we all go. know the truth. We all oh. know the truth. But no one wants to hear that. Um, let me say what's up to everybody in the chat real quick. Again, apologies if you were if you just tuned in. I have no ability to see the chat. So I have YouTube pulled up on my thing. And I'll, I'll try and say hello. And I'll try and make sure I see Ellie in the house. Hello, Ellie. Ravi in the house. Big up, lad. Big up, Ravi. Big up, Craig the Gecko Man. Craig the Gecko Man. Craig the Gecko Man. Um, Ellie, hello. Dry Rose Peanut. Mr. K. It's a bit glitchy today. I've had to refresh my screen. It's prob cyber attacks that we don't know about. Mm, interesting. I hope that's not the true. USA's future president says David Shear. It's not about what you could do for your country. It's about what you wait. It's the opposite. He said, "Ask not what you're whatever, whatever." Cold War general. That's not what your country could do for you, but what you could do. I can't do it, man. I'm all don't ask. What, it, don't man. ask what your country could do for you. Ask what you could do for your country. Um, that's as good I as like, I think it's as good as it's gonna get. At least today, I'll work on it off screen. Yeah, big up beer talk. Yeah, we're doing some accents again. Sorry, um, too many f bombs, Jacob. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was a little bit effy today. Um, but you know what? It's because of StreamYard. They're fucking with me, and I don't like it. But, Paul, we got this guy. He's a technical director. They don't say football, director of football. Um, is this just a matter of, like, semantics, or how do you – what do you think? I don't know. It all sounds like another, just another snout in the trough, doesn't it? I mean, how many <laughs> fucking directors do you need? You know? Oh, what, are we going to play better? Cause I, 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 I know – <laughs> Every team does Another, it. I'm still thinking about what you said. Another what? snout in the trough. <laughs> yeah. 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 Imagine all them little piggies oh, eating KPIs. the mush. KPIs. Oh, KPIs. Oh. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's pivot and lean into it with a fresh set of eyes. You know the bollocks these people talk. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. So he was at Aston Villa, and I've got some of his some of his work to look at. So these are some of the signings under under this guy. What the fuck's going on? Let me change this so we can see it better. Hang on. Boop. Look at that. The magic of production. <laughs> um So this is these are some of the villa signings under Johan Lange. And let's see what we think about him. Honestly, StreamYard, I'm gonna send you a very Karen email after this. I'll have to speak to their manager. And when I get him on the phone, I say, let me speak to your fucking boss. <laughs> and then when I get him on the phone, let me speak to your boss and just keep climbing. And eventually, so you'll, get on the the and, and you'll eventually get on the phone to Ange. Because mm. he's at the top of everything. That's, I mean, he is the father of everybody. And really, yeah. the further you kick the can up the hill, you know, you're just going to end up at Ange, Ange Postcoglu's house. But big up, everybody. Uh, big up, Steady as Shark. It says, this club, this club, these players, this club, the Stromboli. Um, uh, Paul, when you're here, I'm easily distractible. I feel like you bring the, you bring, 
you bring something out of me. I don't know what, but you bring something out of me. And I, I'm just so glad that you're here today. It's always Thank good you to very have much. you. Um, but let's look at some of uh, Mr. Lange's work, Johan Lange. So he's responsible here for getting Ollie Watkins, 34 mil, Bertrand Troori from Olympic Lyon, Emmy Martinez. Um, don't know who Morgan Sanson is. Got Maddie Cash. He's decent. Ross Barkley on a free. All right. Um, and then here's some more. Buendia from Norwich. That's actually a good little cheeky bit of business. This was a couple years ago, and I remember being like, oh, I would have taken Buendia. They got Leon Bailey from Leverkusen. Leon Bailey's a nice little Jamaican winger. Danny Ings, Luca Dean. Luca Dingne? How do you say his name? Luca Dean? I think that's hard to announce to say Luca Dean from Everton. But when you look at this, Paul, uh, what are you thinking? I mean, Twan's and these free transfers, loan transfers. So it's kind of a mixed bag of things that he at least scouted because uh, allegedly that's what he's going to be in charge of. Look, because this is what they even said on this page. This is the the official page from from Tottenham. They said. Lange will have responsibility for recruitment, analytics, and talent identification across our senior and academy teams. So, if I'm to believe that, then what do you think of the talent profile of some of these players that I've pulled up? Like, there's, there's like a handful of decent players, surely. Oh, it's all right, isn't it? I don't really, uh, you know, if they don't play for Tottenham, I don't know too much about them, really, but... I don't know, just, just, Andrew's calling the shots anyway, you know. He's having to put his rubber stamp on whether they buy a player or sell him. So, yeah, that's why I say this guy's just going to be a puppet or just, you know, someone else to do PowerPoint marketing presenta presentations. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, yeah, I see a lot of, like, I get excited, but, you know, I know people get excited about a new sporting director, but I really don't give a shit, man. I, I <laughs> You got what you want on your. I was supposed to be all, yeah, inside knowledge on the sport. I don't, I've never heard of him. I don't know. I've never heard I'll, of him I'll either. Go if you want, sorry, man. I've let you down. You, if you go, you'll let me down. You being oh, here, okay. you being here is a blessing. So, um, what I will say is, I'm with you, Paul. Yesterday, you could have said this name to me, and I'd be like, "Who the fuck are you talking about?" I, I don't know. Johan Lange sounds like a Dutch name, right? Johan is that Dutch? <laughs> Could be, yeah. Yeah, it could be. Why not? I, I just think, um, for me, these guys, when you get Scott Munn, another name I'd never heard of before we hired him. These are people I've never heard of, and then we hire. And, and you know, I'm not, like, upset because of, just because I don't know them doesn't mean that they can't do something good. But I look at some of this, and, like, let, let's look at Aston Villa's signings. They're, how much money do they really have to play with? Like, some of these signings I, are actually decent. Now, this is probably... Th Maybe the worst of all of them that I've pulled up here. Oh, but I mean, Ollie Watkins, he's turning out to be a okay, decent striker in the Premier League. Um, Bertrand Troy, I don't think he's that good. Uh, Emmy Martinez, the goalkeeper, that's he's a good, good business. But some of these players, I don't think you need to have like the greatest analytical mind or data mindset to to scout some of these some of these players. Well, but I mean, you know, I know, I know you were the first out there talking up Lange. Oh, like, that was me. Months ago. Months ago. This, we need Lange at Spurs. <laughs> and now, you know? It's oh, happened, that's big up Gio Rea. I cannot pull up your chat, so sorry, but big up Gio Rea, uh, YouTube chat member in the house. Um, I hope no one super chats because I can't bring it up. So, I mean, you can super chat. I'm not going to be upset about it, but I just can't pull it up because, like, if you're wanting to super chat and, like, have me pull it up and, and I can't do that, unfortunately. Something's going on with StreamYard. I don't know what. Uh, let's see. What else? Gio Reyes here. Uh, Letty. Big up Letty. Says, they are good signings in my opinion. And then Delucky Irish says, he better be good at driving a hard bargain. Uh, Mr. K says, so Lange will handle top, top, top players that cost less than 40 mil. I mean, it looks like Ollie Watkins was the most expensive deal that he got over the, or that most, ex but th it, this is the thing there. He's not signing these players. He's just the guy saying, this is a guy who fits. Oh, this is my, my thought here. And I could be totally, completely fucking wrong. So, 
um, you know, don't don't put your house on what I'm saying. But to my understanding of this role, he's not the guy who does the fight. Like Ollie Watkins number right there is irrelevant. The deals that he did there is irrelevant. Those aren't his deals. He's not the guy who's working with the agent. He's just the guy who says, hey, this is my list of strikers and Ollie Watkins is one of them. This is my list of of midfielders and and Bertrand Troy is one of them. Matty Cash, this is the profile of so I think he's scouted some of these players, but who knows who else he's scouted that they just didn't get over the line because they couldn't get a deal done. So this is confirmation bias, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Look, look at our last window in the summer. I thought it was pretty good. And as time goes on, it looks better and better. And we didn't have any of these suits running around then. So what are they going to do? What, are they going to make it even better, are they? I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know. Uh, you know... Look, like some of the comments here says very hit and miss, more missed than hit. Some pretty bad signings in there. Um, so mid. People are saying mid. But then I like this comment here. It says, do have to take into account the pulling power of the club. At the time he was there, Villa had finished 17th the season before and were in the championship in the season before that one. I think he's done all right with what he was given. And that's kind of what I'm saying here. Is like, the, it, if you look at it from like, that standpoint which is i'm sorry i'm covering up the comment that i was just pulling up i just think look they were bought bottom club they got promoted they were in and around that lower tier you could say and now they're playing european ball they have unai emery a quality manager they brought in some quality players and you could say he was a part of the foundation to get them to where they are now now he didn't do the musa diaby he didn't do this summer's transfer window the long lay and i mean <laughs> they they signed clement long lay jesus Did they Christ. really i didn't know yeah, that but this wasn't him he didn't say go get long lay so he'd uh, already this, gone already yeah he had already been kicked to the curb or whatever however they separated that had already happened so like right. but to get to a point where they can attract a Musa Diaby, even Longley. You don't see Longley go playing for Southampton. Longley. Longley, Longley did Sevilla, Barcelona, Tottenham Hotspur. So to me, um, he's not a guy that goes to like a club that doesn't have some kind of like uh, to them, you know, some kind of European ball. He came to us when we had Champions League. Now he goes to Villa and they got europa or conference whatever it is um but if you look at what got him from 17th to now where they are you could say he was a part of the mechanism that helped get him there and then with that thought in mind if we're already top of the table which let me remind you tottenham hotspur top of the table the view up here is very nice number one baby number one um you could say that he was a part of like building them up to where they are now and you're getting, so you get me mildly excited now because that's I, a good point. I'm I'm working myself up here. Yeah, I thank yeah, yeah. thank this guy E R Ben T. I never saw this comment. I just read it live on air, and I'm like, holy shit, this is making me think now. So I'm thinking, like, if he can come in and be a part of the mechanism for Tottenham Hotspur to like help us incrementally improve and improve, and we've already looking pretty good, but like, if he can be a part of a system that helps us improve, and if if the amount of growth that they had under while he was there, Aston Villa speaking, if they had that amount of growth with him, what amount of growth could we have with him at Tottenham Hotspur? Yeah. I think it's a fun question to think about. Yeah. I wish I could see everyone's comments. <laughs> Let's see what everyone's saying. I love ah, oh, this is so Streamyard man. What are they doing? Big up well, Phil Coys is in the house. I had a similar thing last night where I thought. Oh, my stream's only last 10 minutes. I've only got two comments and then bang. It's like, oh, where did they, where did they all come from? Oh, I missed it. I, you stream now whenever I'm asleep, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. But what I do well, late at man, night when I, I play... When I, member of society. Oh, you're out there buttoning it up, huh? You're out there <laughs> shooting and booting. <laughs> please, sir. Please, sir. Can please, I have some more? Can I work some more hours for you, sir? Please. <laughs> peanuts i like peanuts give me scraps sir i'm gonna (laughs) stop but yeah i hate this thing no comments like it's just blank and it still says zero viewers like maybe no one's watching right now paul 
maybe no one's watching and commenting but i see on the youtube side there are some comments so let me let me make sure i at least say hello to everybody what's that you've got 71 people here at the moment oh big up 71 hello. people hit the like hello That's all hit right. the like yeah i like that 72 votes i see on the poll thoughts on the new technical director 49 percent says who the fuck is that guy and i feel that and 43 percent says reserved opinion until the gravy is made now i want to know how good paul do you think this gravy is going to be do you think you can cook up some nice gravy with what we're already cooking yeah i think i i, I think ang is firmly the man in charge so so when, when you go uh, and I still see this at clubs, even when they do have all these directors and knobheads, you know, walking around. The, the manager is still the guy that calls the shots. And so, well, hopefully, this guy will be more of an assistant to Ange. So, Ange will say, these are the guys I want. And then they go off and scurry off and, you know, talk to the greasy agents and all that sort of stuff. So, mm. um, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I do. I, that, that, that does uh, get me mildly excited, you know, that... The job he's done at Villa, when you think about it, is pretty good, isn't it? Because they were. That's what I'm saying. He came in. They. So let, let me read this comment again. That, it's a great point here. This, this comment here, take into account, the pulling power of the club at the time he was there. Like so, when we're looking at this, and we're saying, "Wow, these are kind of mid signings," and some of us are not impressed. And honestly, there's a there's maybe two or three that I would actually take on our squad right now to be some depth. Like I think that they're actually decent players. Um, not talking about Musa Diaby, obviously. I love Musa Diaby, but um, at the time he was there, Villa finished 17th the season before, and we're in the championship the season before that one. Like. So he got in there and they were 17th. He didn't like get them promoted or like bring in, you know, scout these players that got them promoted or whatever, but they were in the championship. They got promoted and then they finished 17th, barely escaped relegation. He comes in and now they're in. I'm not saying he's the sole reason. I don't want to be like putting all that on him, but I do want to say that, like, you know, hey. What did he, um, do you know why he left Villa? No, I don't know. That's that. That anyone I have no idea. I'm keeping, I'm keeping my eye on the chat here. If anyone knows why he left Villa, let me see. I thought I. I don't know if I saved a tweet. I thought I might have, but I thought I bookmarked something saying what 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 he ended up doing. Um, got some comments from people on Twitter that I've that I've got pulled up. Jan Lange. People are still reading up on him so far though. He's a data guy, good at building data, scout teams out. He presents the players videos why they want to sign him, how we will improve them. Fits the Ainge calls to players. So like you said, Paul, uh he's got to listen to Ainge first and foremost. That's it. Ainge got to listen to Ainge man. first and foremost. Here's another one. Um Simon Humane, a great Twitter follow. If you're on the if you're on Twitter, I, I suggest you follow me. There's a lot of great posts and stuff on there. It says, um, uh, when it was announced, he said, I'm underwhelmed, but I'm going to give it a chance and judge as we go. And then he later tweeted saying, Lange is a modern data-driven operator, uh, but he lost his position as DOF at Aston Villa to Munchi because uh, they wanted someone with more contacts and European experience. Look, we've got contacts and European experience, right? Got enough of that. Um, and, and then he goes on to say, only way this makes sense is if we are looking to bring in Paratici back after his suspension. And then there was also the tweet that I already showed earlier uh, that says, we are planning to keep Paratici, par Paratici. We're planning to keep him, um, even though we just hired Lange. So uh, sounds, all intents purposes, like, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm just going to wait for the gravy to be made. Then I'll make my judgments then. Um, but look, I guess that answers what, that answers our question, Paul. We were saying, oh, do, why did he lose his job? They just wanted to upgrade the position. Board, boardroom kerfuffle. And you never know. He could have looked at someone's Johnson when they were whizzing in the bathroom and been like, uh, oh, that's creepy or something, and then they fired him. Yeah, who knows? Um and it's a little bit speculatory, but you never know. I was just thinking like Ace Ventura. This guy reminds me of a guy in a Jim Carrey movie. His face. I don't know. <laughs> something about his face. Just looks like that. But big up. Let me see. I got to go like 
click on over to a tab to see what the damn chat's saying because the stream yard want to be fucking with me today um but big up baxter thewall is in the house says good morning jacob and paul good morning baxter how are you uh phil coy says big up to the two dons jacob and paul big up. <clears throat> uh phil coy is all aboard the ange train i'm pretty sure correct oh, me if cool. i'm wrong phil but are you in the front cars of the ange train and are you drunk yet with us because i am sipping something um long lay needs to long lay down says mark Cook. <laughs> rob ragnarsson says pedigree did you say something before that and you're just no nope, it just says pedigree but big up rob ragnarsson uh james paratrooper lange is the real deal he is going to lead us to the promised land lange is our Ooh. new moses he will part the red sea to champion Ooh. status big wow. up james james paratrooper drops in from the skies and I hope he's dropping truth bombs because everything he says, I I want it to happen. Oh, I don't know if it yeah. will. Yeah, but I like the way it sounds. Uh, let's see who else is in the house. I want to make sure I say hello to everyone, even though this thing is messing with me. Uh, Zapur says he left Villa because Munchi wanted the whole office. He slowly pushed him out. Interesting. You see, that's a, now Paul. Maybe you can give us some insight because you're you're rubbing elbows with these jacket suit wearing tie bolo tie looking motherfuckers you were you were eating with them at the lunch table you're hanging out rubbing elbows you know drinks at the office drinks oh. with the boss man and um you give me, you give me nom flat flashbacks <laughs> it was a lifetime ago oh, you're rubbing elbows horrible. with the big wigs man um, oh do you think him getting the boot out of aston villa to munchi could just be because of uh you know a little office place kerfuffle you know sometimes when prides are in the office you can't pack a whole bunch of lions in in, in one office and expect not a couple males not to go at it and females too uh but that my, my my thought is you know i don't know the ins and outs of the bureaucratic bullshit going on with them maybe he was wrong moonchi pushed him out what do you think yeah it just sounds like i i, I don't know just stupid politics doesn't it um I don't know, but he, look, he looks like JFK. If JFK worked at Home Depot, I could see him <laughs> in like a, I'm sorry, I could see him in an apron. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> We've got brass head nails on special. I, my, the accent is always better in my ear in my head yeah, no, than it is whenever it. i fucking say it just like uh, when i was a kid this is super off topic just uh divulge me for one second uh jurassic park there's a very famous scene where they're in the jeep and the t-rex is chasing him and he's like doing that t-rex noise that they did a whole like feature expose about how they created that t-rex that i don't even know how to do it but it's just like some instrument noise that they made and they gave it to the to the t-rex in the first jurassic park the og one and i know it's the first jurassic park because there's not one before it paul correct me if i'm wrong you always tell me that what i think is an original is a remake is there a jurassic no, yeah. park before the steven spielberg one no i think you're all right there all right. all right so when i was a kid that sound i went for weeks trying to like mimic the sound because i thought it was so cool and i wanted to chase the dogs around the house doing the t-rex noise and i could never do it and it, that was a moment for me as a kid where i learned like you know, just because it sounds good in your head <laughs> doesn't mean it sounds good to the world. So that's a valuable lesson. You know, that's all. Thank you. So what, was the, what was the closest you could get to the T Rex sound? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's about as good as I could get it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The dogs still didn't like it though. The dogs did not like it. Um, that was, I guess, the end goal anyway. Uh. Rich, big up Rich, says WTF, Jacob, the first reason you can think of Lange leaving Villa is that he looks at someone else's Johnson and started acting creepy. That wasn't my first thought. It was just I'm we were throwing darts at the at the idea board, you know, seeing where <laughs> things land. <laughs> hey, that happened. You're, you're, it happened you're, you're, you're in days for man. <laughs> That's it. Big up Faz Radfar, three one Spurs is in the house. Big up Faz. I knew this um, that when your channel got too big, you'd start coming out with, you know, corporate speak, and now you're doing it. That's it. What's the corporate speak that I've came out with? 
You just said some corporate speak there. I forgot what it was, but you just said some, you know. I'll pick you up on it. Don't you worry. <laughs> Show me the evidence. I need the fucking <laughs> oh, evidence. Hang on. Bloody StreamYard's doing its thing. I've got to come out and come back in again. Oh, right, no worries. He'll be back. Or I scared him away. StreamYard's acting a fool. Um, Phil said, Jacob, that sounded more like Chewbacca. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Howie, big up Howie. Good morning. Says there was a Jurassic Park before the movie 100 million years ago. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, big up Sean EJ Daniel. I believe Barbados is where you're from, Sean EJ Daniel, if I remember correctly. Or the Caribbean? Correct me if I'm wrong. Says, Jay, is Phillips injured? Why is he not making the bench? And Dyer does. Allegedly, I had heard uh, that he made that he was injured, and that's why Dyer was on the bench. But look at this, y'all. This should make everybody happy. I saw this, and I couldn't let it go. Unbookmarked, true or not, I'm going to believe that it is true. Um, I choose to believe that it is true. It says, Sporting Lisbon have discussed bringing back Eric or bringing Eric Dyer back to the club when his Tottenham contract expires. So it sounds like um, in the summer he may be going back to uh, Portugal. So he'll he'll play back at his level. And isn't that great for him? <laughs> what a servant to the club. What a servant to the club. He get his own documentary and everything. Um, Derek Smith says, Lange left Aston Villa because he could see the ceiling at Spurs was a lot higher. It's a better job, and he's probably paid more. It's a step or three up the line. So he got laid off last year, though. They they let him go for Munchie last year. And now I'm getting the Wi-Fi signal, so hopefully everything's all right on the, on the Wi-Fi end. Can you still hear me, Paul? Yeah, it's, it's, you're hanging in there. Oh, is it really bad? Like, do no, I no, look like a... you look a bit like Max Edwin, but I can hear you all right. That's in reference I actually get, Paul. Oh, just th as soon as I said it, I thought, oh, fuck, he was born in 1990. He's not going to know this shit. Max he? Headroom, that was like a cyber attack on the TVs, right? Where it was like a guy in a oh, Nixon that, that mask? Was, yeah, that, 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 yeah that was, there was a guy in, I think, California that did that. Based That's on Max, Max Headroom, Headroom, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there okay. was a character called Max Headroom, yeah, yeah. But he did the, the weird, creepy hack into the broadcast and was like <laughs> richard nixon sitting on a chair or something <laughs> um elvis g says in the chat mun sacked our chief scout the day he started so lange leaving doesn't mean he was crap ashton villa have the ex sevilla director of football probably wanted his own man in well there you go big up hey i like this we're all having a uh mr k says my video is kind of glitchy sorry about that uh sean ej daniel says 100 percent correct barbados is where i come from big up sean ej daniel oh, see that i pride myself on that paul where when i see a name and you tell me where you're from i try to fucking remember i try to show the viewers i care about you just as much as you care about this channel or me or all the above you know if you care about this channel you want it to grow hit that like i see 53 likes and there's what 85 votes that's 33 people who don't want to like the video but they want to partake in the poll and tell me their opinion on the new signing technical director signing so um but big all up, right if, all right all right i'll hit the fucking thumbs up yeah hit there the fucking you go. it's free it's it costs like... you nothing paul get in <laughs> um oh real quick y'all uh oh video's back to normal and mr k says 74 likes 78 now man what is my technology doing 79 likes big up oh shit i just refreshed yeah Eight. she it she it she it 79 <laughs> likes damn this maybe i need to restart my computer i don't know what the fuck's going on the show actually today is not going to be as long as normal paul so apologies if you were wanting to party for two hours i will be yeah, on another right. channel after this uh judge mo he was on the channel last week he's got he, he asked for a uh texan spurs well he didn't say texan but he's my te he lives in houston so i call him my texas brother even though he's not texan um but he invited me on his show so i'm gonna redirect the the audience over there when the when i end the show we'll go over there and you'll see where i'm at next so if you wanted to get some more of my opinions i'll probably be a little bit shameless over there uh, my my thing and, and i want everyone who's here right now the 75 of y'all if there's a, allegedly there's 75 people watching um I hope y'all all come over there and talk your shit with me. I need everyone in the chat. And when we go over there, I need everybody in the chat saying we're top of the league. Don't talk to me unless it's nicely. Number one. Number fucking one. My any Who's Arsenal better? fan 
All I say is, how's the weather down there, my friend? How is the weather down there? You know, what's here. It like? what's, it, what's it like looking up at our buttholes? <laughs> they talk about the chicken, chicken ball. Yeah, well, now you're looking up at that chicken butthole. So how do you think about really? that? Man, it's a great time to be a Tottenham Hotspur fan. And I had Kuva on the channel yesterday. And we were talking about a whole bunch of stuff that wasn't like fucking hoity-toity businessman shit like we've just been talking <laughs> um it was uh we were talking about like where we're at what we're seeing and like our feelings and like i was just kind of validating the fact like hey spurs fans you can enjoy this oh yeah you are allowed to have a good time with what you're seeing was luton town the best performance we've ever seen no but at the end of the day, what are you trying to fucking do when you play anybody? Get three points. Win the game. What yeah, are your I, thoughts I on the Luton Town? Uh, yeah, look, I did a video on this yesterday, man. This, this, is the, this is our best start since 1960. So never in my life have I seen us have a better start to the season. So why the bloody hell shouldn't I be happy about that? I think it's brilliant. I'm getting really good vibes about it. You know, I, when I compare this to my benchmark team in my living memory, which is the team of the 80s, I can see this team as having the potential to surpass them. And I don't say shit like that. You know, I wasn't saying that when Poch was around. But I get that feeling. I, I, I think we're a really good bloody outfit, really good team, really good spirit. And we're in a title race. You know. So you're saying I'm, we are in a title race? Of course we are. Look, <clears throat> I don't know how long it'll last. But for me, like, I'd rather get all hyped up now and enjoy it. Mm. If the wheels fall off tomorrow, that's bloody tomorrow, man. And at least I've experienced this joyous feeling of being number one. Instead, like, what am I going to do? Oh, oh, no, it might all go to crap. And then when it does all go to crap, I've never had that moment of joy. I've just been moany all the time. So, yeah, no, we're in a tight race. Fuck it. We're going to win the league. Uh, so. You and Kuva, man, y'all are going to get me going around screaming that Come we're in a title on. race. Because when, when rival fans have asked me, I'm in a few group chats. Uh, shout out Staffy TV group chat. I'm in there, and there's a lot of United, Liverpool, and Arsenal fans, and then me. And what, so what, they're in a title race, and we're not? Well, the, well, I've said I don't want to admit we're in a title race because oh. of our squad depth. That's what I said I'm afraid to admit. But now because yesterday with Kuva and now with you, how am I supposed to? How, uh, you're going to make me say that we're in the title race because I'm feeling it. And I just don't you know what's going to stop up, us. Boy. Toughen up. <laughs> Toughen up. Stop being such a beta cuck pussy, I think they believe. Uh, I've heard people say on the internet, go watch some Ben Shapiro. He'll toughen you up. I cannot fucking stand that little micro penis dude i will never listen to ben shapiro being, um actually the way that we actually look at things my wife uh, did you hear me this is going to be totally random like apologies God. for everybody but he said something when when there was that the wap the wap when that was a big thing it was like these these girl rappers made this very famous song it was very famous for an entire summer and it's a very popular it was wap and it stood for wet ass pussy and the whole song was about they've got that wap they got the w and so he was so offended by this song he went and read his the lyrics on his show oh, and was no. like you've got a wet ass oh, p word a wet oh. ass p word he's like my wife never has a wet ass p word now everyone started <laughs> making fun of him there's uh, your problem ben <laughs> there's your problem ben she's probably miserable if that's the case let me say hello to everyone in the chat i see the chat is flying there's a uh let me refresh i see about 100 of y'all in the house keep hitting those likes up hit a vote in the poll i see 91 votes 52 percent says who the fuck is that guy and 40 percent say reserved opinion until the gravy is made and that's kind of where my heart is at i don't want to be upset with a guy that we just hired before i've seen him work uh, that's just the way I, I, I personally approach it. But everyone's allowed to do. So you're, you're entering the, these forums, Jacob, you know, and mm. well, I get it. We all want to be, you know, we don't want to look silly by saying we're going to win the title. But I don't give a shit about looking silly. Fuck them. We're going to win the title. I, I love that about your I love that about your video yesterday. If you're not subscribed to the Hotspur Hippie, you need to go subscribe <clears> to the Hotspur Hippie. Just got over 2K, and that shows you how fucking awesome he is because he's been doing it for like two weeks. Uh, your channel specifically, but you already built up a following before you even created your channel, Paul. Um, but I do want to say uh, we do have a, over a hundred of y'all in the house. Go ahead and hit that like up. I want to say hi to everyone in the chat. But again, apologies. Streamyard is 
is they're trying to silence me. I have zero comments. <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> here it says here it says zero viewers, and then right here is zero comments. So I look down here and I see the YouTube chat. So let me say hello to everybody that I've, you're I've going, been seeing. You're going full internet nut and now, Jacob, with with all this. They're shadow banning me. The people have a right to know what I have to say. They and they're want shadow me to banning be me. They're trying to silence me. I'm being cancelled. <laughs> uh big up donovan donovan's in the house youtube chat member david the channel don't worry i'm gonna i'm gonna redirect so you don't have to do anything as soon as i end the stream here it'll send you over there to judge footy mo footy judge mo i forget what the order but i'll be over there i'll redirect don't worry bx gunner's in the house i think he was laughing at us saying that we are in a title race says i got a bag of feed for you guys as a first place prize and isn't that sweet a bag of feed actually on a farm goes a long way so don't right. diss the bag of feed i'll feed a horse and you know what the horse will do that horse could get you to work and once you get to the work you can make a whole million bucks and that's the american dream baby give me the bag of feed i'll take it uh big up it big up bx gunner with a bag of feed it all starts with a bag of feed. Technically, it all starts with the dude who fucking grew the shit to make the bag of feed, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, Jaglit Rawat says, I took my free beer. Free beer's hitting that like. Grab a free beer on your way in. Why not? Go ahead and support the channel, even if you think I am deluded. And if you think we're in a title race, hit that like. If you think we're crazy for thinking we're in a title race, hit that like. For me, I want us to be... I, I don't want to say it and then it not... I, I want it to like... You know, whenever you are going out for the night and say you don't have a lot of money in your bank account, you don't say oh, if you have if you have you're talking to the right guy here. Yeah. I can <laughs> so, but what I'm saying is, when you go out, you're like, okay, I have 45 bucks to spend. You don't go there and say, well, I'm going to spend. You know, I, I can drop 50 here. No, you 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 gotta uh, kind of kind of fucked up where I was going with that there, Paul. Um, I had a whole like scenario I wanted you to think about. In regards to this, but I'm I'm, I'm going to pause that there. I want to say you don't want to blow your wad and look like a hobo. Like I don't want to spend fifty bucks when I have forty five in my bank account. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to write a check that my ass can't cash because I feel like then that leaves that leaves you exposed. As, but not only like as a fan. To what? And a, this is the thing: it's exposed to who? To her? To the pain? To no, to, uh, I'm taking. Say, oh, I'm saying, okay. take, so you're not you're not talking about an external. I don't I don't care if I get clipped and someone's like this guy's delusional. I don't right, care if someone okay. looks at it and says, "Oh, Jacob Walraven at United Spurs of America is a deluded fucking bitch because he thinks that Tottenham are in a title race." I don't really don't care because honestly, what that's going to do is drive people to the channel. So that's actually good. If I were to come out and do something like that, I think it would it would generate some 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 traffic. So. But my, my point is, why I don't want to say it is like, for me, my emotional state, because if I open my heart up and say it's on like Donkey Kong and then we fall short, that's going to hurt me. I don't give a fuck about what people, I, I'm leaving myself open for hurt when when I go and I believe these things, like we're in a title race, like we have a legitimate chance to challenge City for the league. City are in third right now, but one win, if they win their next match and we lose our next match, we swap places. So... I'm trying to not get too ahead of myself while enjoying the now. There's a great book that I read uh, straight out of high school called The Power of Now uh, by Eckhart Tolle, I believe is his name. P people in the chat were, were, were telling me yesterday, but th it's a great book about learning to enjoy what is happening now while not looking too far ahead in the future. And I think what you said earlier, Paul, kind of resonates with me. It's like, I'm enjoying what we're doing now because yeah. if we lose versus Fulham, if we lose versus Palace and Chelsea, that's next week's prop, two Don't weeks from now. That. That's technically, that's two weeks from now. We got two future weeks till Jacob that's worry about that. You're not future Jacob at the moment. That's a, that's a different guy. I love that because I use that you know my wife was always like why didn't you do this why didn't you do that that's future jacob's problem i'm putting it off for future jacob <laughs> present jacob he's trying to sit on his ass eat some chips and play fifa um <laughs> but future jacob he'll take care of the dishes that's not me but right have, now it's so. like an internal struggle you're having it's not an external thing it's you you don't want to you don't want to get let, let you don't want to fully let go and and enjoy the moment because the come down might be too painful it's just like I, it's like you you just started a relationship with a girl and then you're going to take her to a concert VIP and she's going to meet the man of her dreams, say like Usher, right? She's like, I, she's infatuated with Usher. And it's just my fear is like, if we're barely dating and I haven't set the foundation yet, 
we're barely on the first stages of like dating and talking. I take her to Usher concert, VIP, she meets Usher. Guess what? Usher may take my bitch. So it's like, well, what? I think you need to toughen up. We're top of the table, bitch. That's what you should be saying. <laughs> We're top of the fucking Usher. table. Who's yeah, Usher? Suck that, yeah, suck that, Who's Usher. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a good point. I'm just... Oh, no, I'm, it feels good, man. It feels good. It feels good. Come on. Come on, Jacob. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm so easily peer pressured, man. You worry you're, about you're all that me. shit later on, man. Look, I'm gonna if I if I if I'm not optimistic now and then it, it doesn't work out later, I'm gonna feel all that depression and shit later on anyway. You know, yeah. uh, me feeling good now is not gonna make, make me feel worse later on. I'm still gonna feel not gonna ask. But now top of the table, man. Top of the table. I love it. Let me let me see what the chat's saying real quick. I have to scroll through this and look down for a minute while I look at this. Uh, but big up everybody in the chat. Make sure you're hitting that like. Uh, let me see here. Eye of the moment. Big up eye of the moment it says twelve fifteen. I don't twelve to fifteen. I'm not sure what that means. But uh, Derek Smith says numerous times when Lester won the title. Numerous times when Lester won the title, Spurs had chances to put real pressure on Lester. We kept bottling it then. Think we'll be more resilient now. Ainge has done that. Different team. Big up. But you asked that's me what I'm about saying. Luton. You asked me about Luton. So, you know, that, that's a good little microcosm of, of our season. We had setbacks. You know, we, we peppered their goal. Goals didn't go in. You know, that happens in football sometimes. It's like, well, where the bloody hell are we going to get a goal from? We let Luton a bit back in the game from time to time. Then we got Basuma sent off. And then like Liverpool, who just went, wah, wah, we knuckled down and got the job done. I know it was great. What more do you want? I love it, that's Paul. A, that's the sort of thing that champion winning sides have to do. That's exactly how I felt after the match. Was like it wasn't pretty. We weren't great, but we put a lot of we created a lot of chances. Just Richarlison didn't finish some. Kulisevsky had a great shot, and the sa the keeper saved it. A, a very great save by the keeper, mind you. And then Pedro Porro had two shots that that could have gone in that were just wayward. So there were, we were creating a lot of chances, and then we went down a man. We went down a man, and we still went and got the goal away from home and got three points. So, like, people are going to look at it from a bird's eye view and say, oh, Luton won nil, losers, you know. And to me, like, I don't care. You can only beat who's in front of you. And people have been using that we have played. So at the bottom of the table, I don't know if you know this, Paul. Have you, have you taken a look at the bottom of the table yet? No, I don't look that far down, man. My eyesight isn't that good. I just like to, you know, look at the top bit. So the four teams on the bottom, 17 through 20, Luton, Burnley, Bournemouth, Sheffield. Those are four teams that we've beaten. And this is what the Arsenal fans are using as something to beat us over the head with. But uh, if I'm not Luton was away. Burnley was, away. Burnley was away. Was Bournemouth at home or away? I was away. And what about Sheffield? That was at home. So three out of those were away. That's nine points away from home that we've pulled, not to mention the point at the Emirates. That's well, I'm, I'm keeping a running tally on the points we've gained over equivalent fixtures last year. So we got 60 points last year, and already in our first eight games, we've gained 11 points. You know, because we, I think we, we, we drew with Bournemouth last year and we went one this year. The game against Luton... Luton weren't in the Premier League last year, but they, they were promoted third. So if you take uh, the, the team that finished bottom last year, whoever it was, I've forgotten now, Southampton, mm -hmm. we drew. We drew away at Southampton last year. We drew 3-3. Three, three. Didn't Leicester beat us as well? Uh, Leicester beat us at Leicester. Yeah, or uh, well, Liverpool. There's another, there's another two points we gained, you know? So we gained 11 points already. We're up to 71 points in my mind. That... That's a good point, and that is a good way of looking at it because aside of the the competition and, and what the club is, the fact of last year, those same fixtures, what were the result? That's right. And how yeah, did we, we cope? We were, tripping, we were tripping up all over the place last year. That's what I'm year. saying. And how, exactly. How did we cope last year as opposed to how we've coped thus far? It is eight matches in. People are going to say we're premature, Paul, and that we shouldn't celebrate too soon. But for me... Um, well, when are you going to celebrate? Well, you're going to wait till fucking May or something and then go, yay. Whereas I've been on, you know, cloud nine all year. <laughs> going, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
and then we win, then we win, the, we win the Premier League in May, and then all these other sad fucks. Well, they, then they start smiling, do they? They've been bloody miserable all year. Yeah, yeah. It just man, I'm. It, it, it's interesting because I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm enjoying yeah. it, and it feels good. I just the the step I haven't taken yet as this crazy passionate Spurs fan that I am. The only step I haven't taken yet is to say that we are legitimate title contenders. Now, I, I, I hear the argument. I see it. I just worry because when I, I know six, at minimum, six positions, any of those six people face an, in, in, an injury, we look a lot different. It'll be interesting to see how we look versus Fulham without Basuma because that's one of the positions I think that if he goes down, we look so much different than we are. I saw some idiot on Twitter today say, we need to have a real conversation, an uncomfortable conversation about Basuma's actual impact. Zero goals, zero assists. And I'm oh. like, bro, you're oh, a fuck. I, I was going to so, respond. Oh. I was like, I had this whole thing typed out. And I was like, no, they're not even worth my time. Some people are beyond getting educated. They're just fucking <laughs> stupid. So I just was like, you know what? Let him let him believe that. All the people you who watch the game, they know what he does. I even like, you know, okay, he gets a suspension every eight games. I think he's worth it for what he's done in the other, in the other, in the eight games so far. Well, apart from the last one, but he's had seven brilliant games, brilliant mm -hmm. games. Yeah, absolutely. Big up Big Six Bants I see in the house. Big up Monts. Hope you're doing well, brother. Says big up the bros. Uh, big up to you. I think you're going to be with, on Mo as well in just a little while. So good. good Look, to, we, we, good we, we, we've, already, we've already seen Arsenal crack. We made them crack. We made Liverpool crack and cry for weeks. Man City have lost 25% of their fixtures. What's the only team that hasn't stumbled and fluffed around and bottled it? It's Tottenham Hotspur. Mm, I it is Tottenham Hotspur. Big up Luga fourteen in the house. Roy's here. BX Gunners here. Um, David Main. They're scared, not us. We have no ceiling. They all fear us right now. We're top. A hey, talk to me nicely, David Main. Um, I also like I the moment is in the house as well. Says wear the shirt proudly till it's ready to be thrown in the wash. I love that. But he also said earlier, fuck the pain. Enjoy right now, and I like that because I you know the pain may come. <laughs> I've we've all had the pain, but you know what? It may not. <laughs> it, but, you know, it may not. What you're saying no, there, Jake, that's the main thing for me. All this, you know, title stuff aside, is at the moment I'm really enjoying watching every minute of our games. I'm loving it. It's exciting. It's what you know what I like football to be. So, you know what what we're going for. Forget all that. Just sit down and smile and watch the football. It's great. Yeah, I, it is absolutely great. Just smile and enjoy it, man. Just smile and run. Derek Smith says if she runs off with a celebrity first chance she gets, then she ain't worth your time and energy. In regards to the metaphor I was making earlier about Ursher. Oh, oh, yeah. Big up Tom, yeah. Tom Peregi says, Good day, guys. Big up. Oi, oi, oi. Big up. How you doing? Um Clout Clout Soabeb says, I just want Spurs to replace Kane as soon as possible, not take years like we did with Erickson. Imagine we replaced Erickson this season only. Um, guys, give me Donnelly and Yago Santiago, please, says Cloud. So, yo, anyone who missed it, they did play earlier today, um, and they won 2-1 with a last-minute penalty. June Sunset Bell uh, converted a penalty late. But uh, Yago Santiago was pretty good in that match as well. I, I want to see them make the bench. I haven't seen Santiago make the bench yet, but Donnelly has. Donnelly has, Phillips has, Valise has. I want I want to see some more Valise. Y'all, I see over 120 people here. We are over 100 likes, so big up on that. I appreciate y'all coming over and showing support. 112 votes, and we are tied once again at 46% between who the fuck is that guy, and I'm going to reserve my opinions on him until the gravy's made. And, and honestly, <laughs> I woke up, I heard the news, I said, who the fuck is that guy? And then I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter who he is, where he's been, what you've done. Girl, what matters what you do with me now. Talk to me nicely. And, hey, he may talk to Tottenham fans very nicely. But big up over 120 of y'all in the house. I love to see it. Barry Shuttleworth. Barry Shuttleworth in the house says, We won at Bournemouth last year. Bentancur in the last minute. I forgot about that. Bentancur. I remember not being excited about it because I was like, bro, we shouldn't have had to win that in the last seconds. But... 
Um, you are right there, Barry Shuttleworth. Uh, BX Gunner 81 says, I did talk shit about you guys bowing out of the League Cup, uh, but it actually could work in your favor going forward to give players added rest to reduce injuries. January has to be a strengthening period. And then I saw a question earlier. I don't remember who it was, so shout out whoever the fuck. But they said, if they said question, and I can't, I, I apologize. So everyone who's here, I've said it about five times this stream. StreamYard won't let me see comments. It says zero people watching, and there's zero comments. It's just blank. Uh, so I'm looking at the YouTube, so I can't star, but it was someone who did a question, Paul, and and I'm going to wrap up here in about 10 minutes or so because i got to get ready to go over to Judge Mo's channel. I will redirect the audience so y'all can stay put um, and then come over there and help me talk shit. But someone said, question, if you could have three signings in January, don't worry about who, but what positions, what three positions do you think we need to strengthen in January if you're given the chance, Paul? Uh <clears throat> Left back, centre, well, maybe centre back, maybe not. Depends on the youngsters, doesn't it? Um, centre forward, I suppose, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. You know, I, I, we, I, I was thinking we're going to not be able to score that many goals without Harry Kane. So what the fuck do I know? So I don't know. Let Ames do it, man. Get on with it. But... So for me, if, if I'm going to answer the question on the three positions that I think need to be strengthened, uh, we need another center back. I, I, I love Ashley Phillips being that wild card person we could try to shove in between our first team and Eric Dyer. I think we need somebody to shore that up. You know, like maybe the center back, that Tosin, maybe he can come in and play that backup role and, and someone to relieve Romero or Van de Veen should we need to. I would like to have someone between them and Eric Dyer. So that's the first position I'm upgrading. The second position is I'm getting another attacker, wing, a guy who can play left wing, right wing, uh, or striker, much like how we did with Brennan Johnson. I would like to see another one just because of the injuries to Maynard Solomon and Yvonne Perisic. I think we need at least one more attacker that could really come in. And then you got Brian Hill coming back as well. So there could be some options there. Uh, the next position I'm looking to upgrade, we need another left back. We yeah, that's, need that's, that's another the left back because if – Destiny Udogi, Udogi, oh. the the beast. He cannot take a bad picture. I have yet to see. The challenge is ongoing. Find me a picture where Udogi does not look like a fucking ice cold killer on the pitch. And you see when he was just dicking around in Luton's penalty box, the the, the composure of a doggy is just something else, man. He, he's got all the time in the world on the ball. But yeah, for me, left back as well, man. Because mm -hmm. you, you get him out and you've got Ben Davies, who's been like doing a doing a job coming on, but he's not destiny a doggy, is he? I mean, come on. you know. That's the same thing. Hoybeer, he's come on and he's done a thing that we've asked him to do. Um, no worries. We, with with Hoybeer, we've asked him to do kind of that similar thing like what Paul was just saying. Um, but that doesn't mean he's anything like Basuma just because he came in for Basuma. So... Uh, we also need a James Madison backup. That's also another position I would look at. If not a winger or a center back, then we need a James Madison backup and we need one bad because if James Madison goes down, uh, that is the, the the biggest position I'm looking at uh, as far as my fear goes. Um, I was I just thought about we also need a James Madison backup because <laughs> apparently La Celso was that guy, but he can't stay fit, nor does he look. He looks as interested in Tottenham Hotspur as I look looking at a fucking Caesar salad. <laughs> and that's not good <laughs> I'll put what it that way all this weird green shit on my plate what all that green stuff put it in a burger um, Danny Reese orange. Danny Reese in the house sorry I can't pull up any comments y'all the the chat really been it's really bugging me this 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 show tonight so I do apologize hopefully StreamYard fixes it for tomorrow's show um, but Alan Bennett says gang gang, uh, gang gang, Alan Bennett, Danny Reese says, I don't want to count my chickens and all that, but ah. Whoa. I'm super excited. And <laughs> if that ain't me, I don't know what is. Um, and as far as the positions looking to upgrade, uh, Mr. K says, Jacob, I think that was dry roast Ooh. peanut that asked that question. Shout out the peanut in the house. Um, James Paratrooper says midfield, fullback, and winger. So very midfield, hopefully he's thinking creative midfield because we need a freaking James Madison backup. And then David Shire, David Shear, sorry. I don't know what it is with me and Shires. Worcestershire Shire, Lincolnshire, Bedfordshire, Londonshire, um, Yorkshire. 
This is all the Shires, man. Uh, but David Shear says Tosin in as center back. Rich says Winger. And El Tel Cocarel says Evening Jacob and Paul, come on, you Spurs. David Shear says Jota on a free. That could, that, he's worked with Ainge. What do you, what do you think about Jota? Uh, he's apparently terminating contract with, with his Saudi club. Yeah, if we can get him in cheap, why not? He's great. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I think he'd be like a, a good backup player. Um, but yeah, that, I, I, I followed that. It was weird because um, he was great at Celtic and then he was bought by the Saudi Arabian team and then it all went wrong and bad and I don't know. Like a, I don't know quite what happened there. I think they uh, the the reports, I remember, what, I remember when it came out. So the reports were saying that the fan base, after Neymar got signed to Al-Halal, I think that's where he went. I, I, I don't know. But it, after this other club got Neymar Jr., then the Al Ittihad, who got Karen Benzema, they have Nuno as their coach, they got Jota, they got Benzema, Jota, uh, uh, the Chelsea Conte, and then they got another player. But the fan base apparently was very upset that they didn't go get a big, big, big profile. And so they were allegedly trying to get Mohamed Salah. So by them trying to do that, they then were trying to terminate they're just going to take a 22 million hit on Jota and just terminate his contract so they can try to clear up room to go ahead and get Mohamed. Apparently, the fans were upset that they didn't get a higher profile player. That's that's just what I read when when I first heard the news of Jota going on free. And that's I've been growing this mustache since. Out of you can see it, Paul. Don't squint. You can see it. It's not that There's fucking trans. There, oh, look at that! Look at that! That's what I'm talking about, Paul. Come on. I know. I can't do it, Paul. I can't. <laughs> I wish I could. Um, let's see here. Who else is in the chat? Thanos, another central defender, a left back, and a young, good midfielder. I like that. Um, Hoybier has been doing the donkey work towards the end of the game. It's kind of an important role, and wouldn't like and most wouldn't like to do it. I agree with that. He's been an absolute professional. A lot of people said uh, how he felt in this man's intentions, and he's, he's kind of sh shut it all down. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jacob, you forgot to say Buckinghamshire, where I'm from, mate, so you missed the Shire. Daniel E., apologies, Buckinghamshire. All the Shires, Worcestershire Shires, my favorite. But Buckinghamshire's up there as well. Will to McDonald, hello, how you doing? Um, BX Gunner, toke it up, go ahead. Uh, enjoy yourself, my friend. Donovan says, yo, chat, when is the player of the match and man of the match announced? It was supposed to be yesterday. And it is supposed to be today. That, let's do that before we sign off. Paul, who's your man of the match and your BDE of the match? Um, man of the match, I think, would have to be Mickey Van de Ven. Mm. BDE. I uh, can't remember him doing much, but Vicario. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. He just exudes it. Oh, I love but, it. Van, going... de Ven, was, Van de Ven was faultless, man. Faultless. You know who else was faultless? Christian Romero. Absolutely. He's getting my BD of the day, and I think my okay. my um, I'm gonna give my my man of the match just to change it up. It would be Van Deveen if you chose someone else. You know what? No, I'm yeah. Romero's gonna get my BDE, and then uh, James Madison will get man of the match for me There's because he wasn't even great, and he just needed a moment with the ball to do something nice and create that chance for Mickey Van Deveen. Um, I think it was probably maybe the worst or the second worst performance. And again, this is being very critical of James Madison, but the worst or the second worst performance we've seen. And he wasn't bad. He was one of our best players on the day. Still created so, a goal. He so, created a goal out of a very quick taken set piece. He, he took the moment, seized it, and we got three points because of it. So I'm giving him man of the match because even he could have done a La Celso and started hanging his head and doing this with his shoulders and going, eh, eh, look at my bow legs. But instead, what he did was say, let me just take this moment to go ahead and create something. And he did. So that he's going to get my man of the match. It would be Mickey Van Deveen if it wasn't for you. Two. Just for the sake of diversity, I want to shout out James Madison for that. Was but y'all. Where, um, where yeah. Luton were, were coming down our, our left hand side, and you had the ball, and then Mickey Van Deveen, Van Deveen got in the way as they were all running full pelt down. And he just kind of turned into this human meat shield. There was no fucking way. The, the Luton player just looked tiny and minuscule behind him. There's no way he could get around him. It was it was fantastic. 
let me see if this worked i don't know why youtube is not letting me like at you in the title I'm trying to at you in the title my man just so being, i can put I'm being shadow banned now is that what you're saying they're Jake? shadow banning you bro oh. something's wrong with something's wrong with my thing Something's wrong with my computer. I need to restart this. But, y'all, it has been a great show. I'm sorry it's going to be a quick one. I know we've been getting used to those uh, those nice long – we had a three-hour stream yesterday. And then sometimes I go two and a half hours, et cetera. So uh, appreciate y'all bearing with me. There it goes. It's finally letting me. I've done it. I've saved it. Um, so in about 10 to 15 seconds, you'll see in the title, Hotspur Hippie. It's a clickable link. You can click it. Go subscribe. Let's get his subs up. But not too high, because once he's he's already said, once he surpasses this channel's sub count, he's not coming back anymore. So if you want Paul on this channel, get his subs right there, but then just not over the line. Just right there, you know? But hey, either way, I think he'll be here even if he gets more subs than me, which you know what? No, you're <laughs> uh y'all it has been fantastic there's still over a hundred of y'all here stay locked in i will be sending you over to judge footy mo footy judge footy i'm fucking it up but judge mo if you know never a foul they've rated this channel plenty of times he's a major person over there and he's got his own channel he just hit over 1.2k today and um we're gonna have a nice little chat it'll be me mo staffy and i believe mons from big six bands will be on over there uh with with judge mo so if you oh, want some more i want to see some bde from you over there i don't want you all oh sorry we're top of the table i know we're rubbish i know <laughs> <Lord Paul's laughs> it. Get, get it out swing it around man helicopter them Wee -wee 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 -wee. <laughs> hey, yeah. i swing that thing like a lasso baby yeehaw come on now hey i like that I, I, keep me honest that's what i'm saying y'all in the chat don't let me change my energy now make keep me i'm <laughs> like i said i don't want to say we're gonna tie we are title contenders but i want to i want us to be so i'm not gonna go over there and say we are automatically going to be title contenders in any but I will say we're top of the league. Talk to me nicely every single time. We're Anytime we're the best I'm gonna, at the moment. We're the best at the moment, absolutely. No one's better than us in the Premier League right now. You know who you know who is undefeated? Or excuse me, who is not undefeated? Uh, who everyone said is gonna be the eventual champions of the Premier League. They've lost two matches. We've only we've drawn two and they've lost two. I'm just saying I know they're not firing on all cylinders, but I don't think we are either. I no, think, oh, we're going to get better. There's plenty more in the tank with us as well. Damn right, man. Because if you think about some of these matches where where fans are now being like, we're not seeing Ainge Ball 100% of the time because you know, I heard some fans saying we resorted to Conte and Jose Ball there at Luton oh, after we went up so. a goal. I've heard it's that. And it was, it was silly to me. And, and, and it, it kind of made me think that, like, you know what? It's not because Ainge is saying we're up a goal, now sit back. It's because these players are still getting it down and to think like as a human over the course of a strenuous activity for 90 minutes you're gonna sometimes have mental lapses and and stuff so um yeah man i'm just uh, uh text me he says he's gonna start 10 minutes late so we got some more time y'all before we go um, I don't, I don't want to send everyone over there and then just wait for the fucking show to start. Blank screen. I did. You, you, I think I, I did. I did that to you. Yeah. Oh, you did. Just blank. And then I also did it to Mia as well. One time Mia was redirected to my channel and I, I like, she redirected and then I like gone and streamed and put the stream for like 30 minutes later than when I was going to start because I like couldn't do it. And yeah, so, uh, apologies, but big up Mia was spurs between the lines. Um, and good morning. She'll probably be watching this when she wakes up. So have, have a nice cup over there. Um, and enjoy today. Uh, yesterday's was a double cupper because it was so long. So we had, we had that Peter Jackson. Um, Daniel, he said he's going to sub and then unsub as soon as you get to, to my mount. So there you go. You're getting some subs, but they're going to unsub. But please do sub. It's all it's all fun and game. I I I I feel confident in saying not like the title challenge. I'm saying if Paul gets three K right now, I think he will eventually join us. Maybe not as often because he's going to be a big timer. But it all subscribers up. He can. I'm lose. getting suspicious now from what you've just said there. What? I think maybe I'm just a 
riding high on just the hot air and farts. Maybe all my subs are, are United Spurs of America's moles. And as soon as I get up to you, they'll, they'll, they'll just all piss off. I'll be back <laughs> down below a thousand. Well, see, here's the thing. around. It's like... Uh, you're giving me too much credit. Like, it's, like, it's like playing an RPG. You know, you start off, you're just wearing a pair of underpants and you've got a rock and you've got to, you know, kill some dude, get a leather cap that gives you one hit point against pigeon shit or something like that. And then, it, you know, it's really slow going. So maybe you've just been fluffing me up, leading me to a fall. No, I would never do that. And plus, I don't think I have that much pull in any <laughs> facet of life. <laughs> but hey, I have some great news. As... You were talking like magic. I've been unshadow banned. They have released me from the dunes. I am out of the gulag and I can speak freely and I can pull your power comments of people, up. People, man. Power Look at people. this. Tottenham Titbits. Oh. Great show. Mr. K, what's cracking? Thanos is in the Here house. I can click comments. I wish I could just start the show over and we could keep going. Hertfordshire in the house. How you doing? Devon used to be known as Devonshire, but we aren't pretentious posh gets down here, so we dropped the Shire. Well, there you go. I didn't know that. Uh, big up David Sh David Shear. He'll be there. Uh, Rich says, stay fresh up the ladder. You're already signing off. We're going to stay for a little bit longer. We're going to stay for just a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I'm so glad. But you know what? No one did super chat, so it's not like I missed anyone sending money for a comment. Uh, so we're all good there. I didn't didn't have to let everyone down bx gunners is a great show me, yeah you know, yeah isn't it i mean it's no coincidence that every time i'm on your stream you just happen to not get any super chats because of our 50 50 arrangement here you know we have a 50 50 <laughs> arrangement <laughs> i guess send me the invoice because it's been fucking backed up because there was like two weeks there where it was me and you every day I'll have 50% of fuck all. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, you want 50% of... Here you go. Here's your bag of feet. Instant delivery, my friend, just <laughs> for you. <laughs> Big up Drula says, you've earned them on your own merit, Paul. That's what I'm saying. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. That's why as soon as you started a channel, you hit 1K so fast because everyone was just waiting for you to start. They were just waiting. And as soon as you started, you... that Hey, you're going to surpass this channel and I'm going to be going on yours and I'm going to be like... Please, sir. Please, sir. Can I Please. have a sub? Can I have a sub? Any I'm subs near... for me, sir? <laughs> I'm, I'm, nearly, I'm nearly at 2,800. Can, can everyone come over and get me up to it? Nah, man, you're <laughs> flying, dude. You're flying. Hey, it's, big up to everybody. Yeah. It's, 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 I, you know, I might be wrong, but I believe it's the United States of America's number one Tottenham channel you've got here. Number it one. It is indeed. Number one. We are number one. The channel's number one. The U18s are number one. The U21s are number one. That's I it. It's all happening, man. We're a fucking binary code out here. One, 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 one. <laughs> Talk to me nicely. David Shear says Murphy's Law. Jacob, right at the end. Yeah, right. Isn't that, uh, isn't that true? David says Paul will be one of those trust fund hipsters from Sydney. Half <laughs> mm -hmm. lot, man. Um, Mark Cook says one up the bum shire for the goons top of the league shire. Koi Shire. Hey, there we go. We're shiring it up. We all love Hotspur Hippie. Ain't that right, Thanos? We all Thanks, love right? some Hotspur Hippie. Honestly, I don't think Thanos even comes here to chat unless you're here. Only time oh. I see Thanos here is when you're here, Paul. So, but big up, Thanos. Appreciate you coming over. Uh, let's see. Since the internet, since my computer want to start acting right, let's see how many likes we're on. 118 likes. I do appreciate that. 124 votes. So, I really can't complain, y'all. I absolutely cannot complain because... The ratio is great. Normally, there's like 30, 20 to 30 of y'all who hit a vote and don't like, but today, everyone's loving on me, and I love it. Um, I appreciate y'all. Uh, James Paratrooper says, Sonny will score 30-plus goals. I like to see that. Yeah, why not, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Big up, Thanos. Um, we are going to end it off there, though, and I will redirect you to Judge Mo. I'm going to use the bathroom, get a drink, and then that show will begin. But, Paul, I want to give you this opportunity to plug anything you want to plug, tell the people – what they can find and when they can find it over there at the Hotspur Hippie. It is in the title, so click it and subscribe right now. But the floor's yours. Well, I don't know if you've heard about the hot new cryptocurrency. <laughs> the, the hippie coins. <laughs> hippie coins, yeah, yeah. You can buy them now, and they're going to be worth millions. And I'll just, I'll just piss off with all the money. Now, I'm at the Hotspur Hippie. I do videos, I do streams, you know, whenever I feel like it. You're all welcome. 
or if you're a Spurs fan anyway, you know. Because um, you won't you won't hear any of this. We're not winning the league shit on my channel. It's all up, up, I consider. Up. No, go ahead. No, that's it. That's plug over, man. No, um, I like it. But what I was going to say to that is, just wait until we're in a better position, and then I'll be like, I've said all along we're oh, going to no. win the. league. Just wait. Uh, I was the first. Spurs fan to say we're going to win the league. I'm I'm claiming that if we do actually go on to win the league, I'm going to. I've claim been that saying goal. it every year since 1978, and it ain't worked yet. So I mean, I, I mean, how many times do you have to be wrong before you fluke a right and you go, "Yes, I was right all along. I've been wrong for like 50 fucking years, but this yeah. year I was right." That's <laughs> that's why when I go to the casinos, there's only one thing I fucking play, and there's only one bet I make. I play roulette. Wait, the roulette's a spinny one where they flick the ball and it goes wee 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 and then it lands on something. I don't bet numbers. I don't bet not. I only bet color. If I go, I'm say today I feel red or today I feel black. Then that's the color I pick and I stick with it all fucking night because eventually it's gonna hit. You know. Uh, and then you'd be on your phone to your wife. Yeah, you won't believe it, man. I've lost my wallet again. I don't know. You know, I, I think I left it here, but I, I, I don't know, man. Don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, there's someone's gonna come repossess some things yeah, from the yeah. house. I I did say I put that on my mama and them. Whenever oh, we were my wedding ring went down the plug hole. Sorry, bro. Like I don't even. I, I never leave the house. Well, I do. I leave the house, but like I rarely leave the house. I I don't go to a job. Only reason I'd wear a wedding ring is if I go to a job. Like I know I'm married. My wife knows I'm married. Everyone should know I'm married. I'm a married man. No infidelities here. Archibald, nice one, people. I'm from Shire Shire. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking towns, man. They're so made up. I know it. Cheers, Jacob and oh, Paul. Like jokes the, about the... the Diddly Bong Idaho isn't a made-up name. Bimbaho, Idaho? Biddly Bong. Also, I don't know. You've got weird old names over there. Don't you knock our shires, as you say? <laughs> well, at least they're unique. Everything you guys just like, let's make up a word and put Shire at the end of it. That'll make it. That'll make it sound nice there's a pile of shit shire <laughs> there's big ball of, never mind this show's getting derailed but y'all go go subscribe what to the hot so even you, uh, you lot do it you you've even doubled down on it we've got hampshire so you've taken ha a hamp and we stuck a shire on it because you say we stick a shire on everything you go over to over the pond, put new in and front you just of go, it. Oh, we can't even fucking think of anything. We'll just stick new in front of anything. Yeah, New York, New Hampshire, New Orleans, New Orleans. Hey, do you all have an Orleans? It's probably French, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. That would be French. You're right. That would be French. Absolutely. Thanos says, "Take Hotspur Hippie with you to Greece next time you come here." Oh, so I'd have to fly to Australia. Pick me up. And then go get you, <laughs> and then we go back. That'd be interesting. Um, big up Derek Smith. You got to be a risk taker in life, though. Pick a number next time. <laughs> Ain't that true? I, I should. Uh, best Spurs channels on YouTube, says Derek Smith. Hotspur Hippie, United Spurs of America are the best, according to Derek Smith. And I'm not going to I'm not gonna argue with him. I burst that bubble, man. Fair point, Mr. K. Pretty much all the names are made up anyway at the end of the day. <laughs> Wedding rings, the smallest handcuffs in the world. Isn't that fun? Um, but big up, everybody. I do appreciate all y'all tapping in with me. Uh, Derek Smith says, the names in Australia are totally normal. We could do this all night, but unfortunately, I do. Well, not unfortunately, but coincidentally, I do got to go to another channel, which I will redirect y'all there. So stay. Just, just don't even click anything. Just stay here. Get on over there. Say USA Raid, and then come help me talk shit for the show because I'm going to be up against it. But we're top of the league, so I'm not up against shit. They're underneath me underneath me but not big up everybody good. what's that they're just not as good you're good but not as good as tottenham hotspur you're right now ain't that the you're truth you know tottenham hotspur i'm telling you <laughs> hey you may be up there but you ain't at the very tippity toppity and that's that's reserved for us we're the top show guys had a good lot big up spurs psych madame 
Um, I think I misgendered Spurs Psyche earlier, but big up, ladies and gentlemen, everyone here. Drula as well says, big up, guys. I hope you'll have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you over there, Judge Mo, talking shit with me, helping back me up and all the things I will say, even if I'm deluded. Got uh, my big, eyes on you, Jacob. I've got my eyes. Don't you let us down, man. This is, look. When people are going to say that we got lucky, people are going to say we don't deserve to be at the top. This is going to be my oh, entire look. Paul, this is going to be speak. when they do that. This is you how I won. This you is won. well. I've already well. We've, we have won. We haven't lost technically, um, but this is going to be my overall mood when they say, "Oh, you're lucky to be there. You shouldn't be there." I'm just I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell. All right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Jeff <laughs> that's well, what it is baby <laughs> but that's gonna do it for episode number 69 short and sweet but i was enjoying myself except for when Streamyard was acting like a little punk but you know what they got over it and they started showing the comments but i will love you and leave you there hope to see you over there at the next channel we'll redirect you right now but as always y'all stay fresh stay blessed up the lads and come on you spurs paul United Spurs of America with your host Michael and Jacob. <laughs>